Hello drone friends, this is Alan at UAV Coach and Drone Pilot Ground School and welcome to this week's edition of our Drone Weekly News Roundup. Last week was exciting, our team is still giddy about the DJI Mavic 3 launch and all the different videos and reviews that have been coming out about it. Unfortunately, no new product releases this week, but we do have some great stories and videos to share with you. Let's jump in. This week I'll share footage from a drone that flew inside the cone of an active volcano. I'll then share how one drone model is being used at a high altitude mine in the Andes Mountains in Peru. And finally, we have a cool feature from Vice News about a drone mission at Chernobyl. Okay, over the last few months, we've shared some pretty epic drone footage of volcanic activity in Iceland, but this week's clip is a little different. You may already be familiar with Spain's La Palma Island and the Combre Vieja volcano as well. Uh, check out this wild footage from the DJI Mini 2. This may actually be the most close-up drone footage we have ever seen from inside the cone of an active volcano. Although the drone survived the incredibly high temperatures, it did run out of battery and crashed into the underbrush after the flight. Good news is the pilot was able to rescue the drone the next day using a 23-foot long fisherman's stick. We'll link to the full video below. Next up, one of the biggest mining companies in Peru tested the Elios 2 drone from flyability at a mine up in the Andes Mountains, almost three miles above sea level. Mining operators use drones to collect visual data in unstable areas, such as those that have been recently blasted. In this case, the main concern was altitude. The propellers of the drone have less air to grab onto. The drone just doesn't perform as well when you're three miles up. Normally, the battery life of an Elios 2 is about 10 minutes, but in this test, the thin air cut that back by about 4 minutes, or 40%. But despite those challenges, they were still able to collect all the visual data required to produce 3D maps of the mine. Pretty cool to see drones being used in such an extreme environment. Okay, lastly, we have another story from the same drone company, Flyability. Vice News recently released this video showcasing never-before-seen footage from the Elios 2 drone shot inside Reactor 5 at Chernobyl. Reactor 5 was under construction when the terrible accident took place back in April of 1986. Because of the immediate need to evacuate, scientists had never confirmed whether or not there was still nuclear waste inside the reactor until this mission. And the timing of this story comes shortly after Flyability's launch of the Elios 2 RAD, an indoor drone that can carry three different radiation sensors to help nuclear plants reduce uh, exposure for employees. Interestingly enough, I traveled to Chernobyl back in 2009. Uh, I was in Kiev, Ukraine for work, and when I learned that Chernobyl was a short drive, I booked a tour and had a wild day walking around through an abandoned school, hospital, and amusement park, and learning about the incident back in 1986. I did not have a drone with me, uh, but, but I wish I did. All right, folks, that's all we have for this week. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel to stay up to date on the latest drone news. Remember to check out the links below to read more from any of these stories. Thank you so much for watching, and to all of you drone pilots out there, blue skies and safe flying.